you have to pay attention to this because this is the only time I think that if anybody who just comes on and joins listens to this, they're going to really get like the idea that maybe JD or Josh is a bully and he's what? not. But th- this specific scenario makes you out to appear to be a bully. And that's why oh. I'm saying you're not. Well, I appreciate, I think, I appreciate that back. And I think, and I think Throck would agree, but the weird we'll thing, we'll see where was, the story goes. The weird thing was, <laughs> is that we had the incident involved the teacher, Jordan and Josh. And what's bizarre is that the, the teacher sided with Jordan, but here's the story. I can't remember exactly if it was me that like bet you or dared you to do it, or if you actually just did it because you knew what would happen. But we're sitting in psychology class and I forgot the teacher's name. She was an older gal with like two short, really 1990s haircut. I think it was Miss Smith. Is that who it was, Jordan? Our psychology Uh, teacher. Yeah, sounds right. Yeah. Anyway, we're sitting in, I think Jordan's in front of me and then, or Josh is in front of me and Jordan is to Josh's left, which we're like in three, three or four different rows in school. If you can picture that, Daniel. Yeah. But I can't remember if I dared Josh to do it or if he just did it. But Jordan at the time had a Mountain Dew sitting on the floor next to him, right? Oh yeah, and Jordan. <laughs> I know but, this is going. For those that for those that don't know Jordan as well as I do, oh, he absolutely <laughs> hates when his drinks get mixed up, especially his Mountain Dew. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Don't you think he goes flat or something? I don't know. I just don't like my drinks he shaking. Not. I just don't don't fuck with it. But did I dare it's you? Not to yours. Do it, leave it alone. Or did you just I might have just been in a spicy mood that day, honestly. <laughs> I might have just said, mm, I feel like tormenting Jordan today. I don't know. Daniel, did you know Jordan didn't like his Mountain Dew shaking up? I didn't know that. Okay. See, Daniel well, knows because it's it's not like it crosses his mind to fuck with somebody else's drink. That's yeah, no, I'm not yeah, because if you if you mess with my drink, it's gonna piss me off just as well, much. Well, I have never shaken up your drink on purpose, but th- this specific incident, Josh got a little you got a little frisky, as you said. He, he picks had, up he had, the he bottle drank, of Mountain he Dew. He drank about half the bottle. Yeah, but he picks the Mountain Dew up, straight up shakes it, and then just puts it back down, right? Jordan, it's like he got hit in the face, which Jordan also hates. He hates when his face is touched in any way, shape, or form. He, like, blacks out with, like, anger. It's like rage. But he snaps, and the whole class is literally looking at us, and we're, like, in the middle of the room. So everybody's... We're on front stage and center, front row. Everybody's watching. Jordan, I think, pops off with just a few cuss words. And the, <laughs> one, the teacher didn't get mad. Second, he tells Josh what he feels like doing to him, which is like rip his face off or something like that. I don't know exactly word for word what he rip said. Your but, huh? Flipping face off. Of yeah. Words. But then Josh comes with a comeback. Or no, the teacher actually interrupts and says, you know, I might as well just let him do that. That was pretty rude. And then Josh said, oh, come on. There's going to be two hits. Me hitting him and the ambulance hitting 90. That's exactly what Josh said. <laughs> he looked like such a dickhead at that time. But Josh is not a, Josh is not a uh, bully. But this is... Okay. okay. Jordan, Jordan was the bully, right? His Mountain Dew was... <laughs> The booger on somebody's finger getting ready to eat it, all right? That's all I'm saying. How was I the bully? No, Jordan Jordan was the one getting picked on. My bad. I reworded oh, that. Yeah. Jordan was not the bully. He was the one getting picked on. Yeah, Josh deadass was the bully. He was just being a dick. All right, look, y'all. See, I love it how, like, when I mess with you, I'm being a bully. When uh-huh. you mess with me, it's just being a buddy. <laughs> You're just being afraid. You're picking on me. It's no big deal. Oh, hey, when hey. when was the last time I either fucked with your drink or food? You don't. You mess with my exactly. emotions. Exactly. Thank you. You don't mess with my physical stuff. You mess oh, with God. my emotions. Oh, <laughs> oh, a sensitive okay. human being. How dare you? Oh, okay. But so I no, told what, you physically. What I loved about this story is that the teacher had Jordan's back the entire time, but the entire Josh time. would not. He would not let this go, and he was 
Because it was a joke. Right, I know, but that's why I said if anybody... Messing with my buddy and all I did was shook his drink up. But that's why I was trying to kind of give the the warning that if you hear this for the first time, you may think that you may be a bully. I didn't call you a bully. I appreciate that. Thanks. But he is sensitive about giving that. But I do want... from it. He's not a bully. He was being... I want to know the feelings of when, like, I know how you are when you get hit in the face, Jordan. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. Mm-hmm. What that's where happen? your brain goes bud yeah where do you go when you get angry like that so if i just walked up and just slapped you in the face like where are, where is jordan going <laughs> <laughs> dude i don't know it's been so long since it's happened and it's not only the face but it's the back of the head too oh yeah like, dude i remember like smacking you in the back of the head a couple of times and we learned real quick don't don't smack Jordan in the back. That of the head, pisses ever. me off so bad, oh. and I don't know where I go mentally. I just, it's like an out of body experience that it just <laughs> it just irritates the shit out of me. Since and then I just the, get what? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go. you go. No, I'm just saying that it just it pisses me off to no end. Like, don't fucking touch me. Don't touch my drink. Don't touch my food. Just <laughs> leave me the hell alone. You can talk shit. I don't care. Just don't touch me. And there is another story behind the back of the head because uh, we were at football practice one day. Mm. And, a, and a gentleman by the last name. Can I name drop, do you think? Do you Absolutely. think we'll ever see this? Do it. Uh-huh. I believe his last name was Maldonado. <laughs> mm. Hits Jordan in the helmet or something like that. And Jordan said, I'll straight up beat your ass. And he goes, I'll kill you. And Jordan stopped. That'll get you life. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember life. that. And the whole the whole story with that guy was he was a senior and I was a sophomore. And he was the scout team quarterback, okay? So those of you who don't know, I was a scout team quarterback from sophomore you year. You were off. the That's scout right. team quarterback. All the way up till senior year, like – Typically, your scout team stops doing it their senior year because they get a lot, a lot of playing time and they think they're too good for everything. But I had fun doing it, so I just continue to do it. So anyway, so um, so that guy was the scout team quarterback. I well, when I popped off, yeah, when I when I popped off to him, I remember Dryling looking over, and I'm like, oh shit. And Ooh. then me being a sophomore, I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna get my ass chewed out. Well, Dryling then. Says, Throckmorton, let me see what you got. So he throws me in the scout team, the quarterback, and I don't know what, I don't know if I threw a touchdown or if I just made a good run or something like that. And he's like, now that's how you become a scout team quarterback. And, and then from that it. day on, I was scout team quarterback. Never and then Maldonado it. was super fucking pissed. Because <laughs> so Maldonado was not, he was a senior, but he did not play a lot. So I was it was probably him just trying to make his way onto like a starting lineup or, you know, something like that. But that dude was pissed. I love how you call it a starting lineup for a scout team quarterback. No, I'm just saying like, like, cause he didn't get a lot of playing time in varsity level. Yeah. So I don't know if he was like trying to boost or like his, you know, his playing time on Fridays or, you know, what he was trying to do. Oh, so like he was using scout team to like get a position on the regular team. Yeah. Yeah. Just well trying to kids. show kind of what he could do or, you know, oh, even if it yeah. wasn't a quarterback, you know, but that's but how that, that whole story went down. Well, that story, it, res- it, it, it came back to me when you brought up the whole slap at the back of the head, Josh, because I remember after it happened, like I heard the whole thing right in front of me because he goes, that'll get you life. Because he threatened <laughs> Jordan, he goes, I'll kill you. And I walked up by Jordan, we were saying, I was like, you know, that was a good comeback. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, that was a good that'll, get you life. that'll get you life. I want to hear Jordan life. say it. Let me hear it, Jordan. Hold up, hold on. Let me bring up Throck. I, w- I want you to get mad. No, I can't have, just have get your, mad. I'm gonna drive him down a pitch yeah, in the nose. No, hell in the no. Back of the head. no, no, not doing it. <laughs> not, not, doing it. <laughs> not putting him on his hey, no. hell Speaking no. of this, you remember when we did the hardest, ugliest face the last like a couple recordings ago? Oh, like, I yeah. found out they have a live competition for that. No, they do. Oh, really? They do too. It's a British competition to make your face the weirdest or ugliest. Yeah. 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 Who who America votes that? Is there like a panel of like five? I don't people? know. It's probably like America's Got Talent type shit. That'd be my guess. Because surely, like those faces have been duplicated at some point. I can't yeah. think of like a lot of ugly faces that I can make that are different. Really? 
Yeah. He's like, almost like a lot of face. Because my yeah. my lips only go one way. You know, like I, like I go like that, but I can't, I can't do it the other way. You can't do all this. Can Elvis that? I can't do, I can't do both. I get what you mean. You can't have this go up to the opposite direction. And like my eyebrows, I can't get the other one to go up. I can't get either one of them to go up by themselves. Can't do it. This looks so stupid on the camera. How do you do that shit? We're all just working our faces. I can't even yeah. make one eyebrow go up. It don't well, it's like thrust. the left side of my face has like paralysis or something. <laughs> like Sylvester Stallone dementia or disease. Hey, Fuck. Adrian. How do you do that? It's making me angry. What? Look at Josh. Can you do the other one? No. Here's some big old cat. Yeah, see, I can't. What do you do? You do the right side then. That's yeah. his right, yo. Yeah. Because he's left-handed do, maybe? I, I can't do the left. Probably. I can't do. It's probably I can't do the right, and I'm right-handed, so it's. I can't do either hmm. one of them. I don't know. You're a loser. Well, hey, Throck, since you weren't here last week, let me catch up with you first. I won't okay. bring you on the big screen, so don't be a don't be a Mountain Dew baby about it. <laughs> what what is Daniel? That What's been like going on with Throck Daddy? Throck Daddy, nothing. Just started a new job at at a different hotel. Um. That's been keeping me busy. So I'm now at the Hampton Inn by Hilton here in town. I'm moving on up. <clears throat> yep. So that's kind of prioritizing over everything else. A lot of time's getting spent over there. Because now I've got 21 people that are underneath me. So it's a lot more. What did Plus you it's have? 24-7. What? What did you have? Oh, I only had like eight at the local. Oh, wow. Because the late the the local was essentially like a self running hotel. Like I implemented a lot of stuff that guests could just check in, check out via their phone. Right. Um, so I kind of rolled that whole process out. Staffing, we didn't have like a midnight to eight shift. Um, so, but this hotel is obviously twenty four seven. So there's more people, more housekeepers because there's more rooms to clean. So, what is now the title serve- of that job? General it, manager. So it's not like what do they call those? Uh, there's an actual word for like somebody who's like a professional hotel. Like I forgot what they called them. Yeah, I don't know. It ain't me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't know. There's like a major you can actually. You know how like you can go to like school to become like a, a stewardess on an airplane and crap. Yeah, they, they actually have school. They have classes for like hospitality. Mm. That a I mean, you could do maybe? classes like. Is I don't know. Up? I don't know. I don't know. Yep. JD, my pick. No, no, no. Jordan's not done. Oh, Tell us about the other done? exciting thing that happened in your life. What other exciting thing happened in my life? Your daughter? <laughs> oh, she broke her arm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that wasn't exciting. Her other arm. Yeah. Yeah, so, she's seven now and has broken both of her arms now. Yeah, she broke her left arm when she was, what, three or four? Two. And this then way yeah. worse. Yeah. So now she broke the right one. So apparently the whole story was Livy or Maddie. They were, Livy and Maddie were playing a game where like they would lay on their back and then they would like raise their foot up. And then the other one would try to jump it and clear it. Well, apparently Maddie went too high <laughs> and mm-hmm. Livy tried to get over. And Maddie was like hold like bracing herself while she lifted her leg. And then Livy tripped and then Livy like kind of sat on her wrist Ooh. and then it broke broke Slap. like both bones here it's like a freak so, ufc accident yeah so now she's in a cast right now so she's yeah, got a she, she can't do anything strenuous for a week because like they didn't have to reset it but they think that if she falls weird or something with the cast on it could move it and then yeah. they would have to actually set it so yeah, oh, really? wouldn't it like through the day the too? Oh, go ahead, my bad, Daniel. I was just saying it's crazy that they didn't have to reset it. We were talking about that when I was down there. Mm-hmm. How they're I'll tell you what else is crazy is that kid's pain tolerance is insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she cried when because she knew she broke it. Because when she got up, like it was like this, but like it was like dipped down right here. So yeah. it was kind of like I don't. You can see it on top, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. 
the, fr the front. Well, you could see the wrist was up here, and then like the bones were like down here. They didn't protrude the skin, but they were like pushed down. Yeah, it wasn't compound. It was just yeah. So she looks break. at it. She's like, "Oh my god, I broke my arm! I broke my arm!" And then me and Christine looking at each other, like, "Yep, she sure did." <laughs> and then it, like almost to the day too, like four years to the day. Oh hell, I don't remember. No, because I think she broke her arm because she was at my mom's house and she fell off the trampoline. I want to, I want to say that was like during when it was hot out. So I don't know if that was summer, spring, maybe early fall. I don't know, but, but yeah, she broke it. Well, you were missed last week, and I'm sure everybody else that's listening also believes that. No. Yeah. I'm nobody. Joshua. Oh man. Um, gosh, did we have anything exciting happen this week? I'm trying to think. Um, not really. It's been kind of just a usual week. It's the last week of kind of my freedom. I, I start school back uh, next week. So I'll be working on that. And then what are you going really for? youth group started back up. So um, that's been really cool. We made some decisions about CIY, stuff like that. Y'all remember CIY days, don't y'all? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. yep. So I think going Texas to, is better in my opinion. We're going down to Texas this year. Uh, students want to do a little horseback riding. Dallas and, or uh, like uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area. We're gonna be just north of there. So watch out for I thirty five. I hate that road. Yeah, we're, that's gonna suck because we are gonna drive straight to Oklahoma City and then straight down. It and is that terrible. Will be so boring. <laughs> Me and Reagan just took that road, and I don't ever that exact route, and I mm, I hate that road. Mm. No fun. But, but what are you going to school for? Because do. I don't remember if you've told me. Uh, I am getting my master's in strategic leadership. So kind of helping me prepare to take over kind of lead pastor role here at the church. Oh, that's awesome. Assuming, assuming things roll that way. So, Daniel, what's been going on with you? Not much. I've been following a lot of news because the Dolphins are disappointing me. Mm. And um, I've been doing a lot of graphics for um, for my brother, um, BJ, Billy, Blade, however you want to call him. So that's about, I've been spending a lot of time doing that. Did you get my DM about that Dixon flannel that goes on sale in about 30 minutes? Oh. Yeah, it's a Dixon it's flannel. Un, yeah, the flannels that I wear, they're called Dixon flannels out of Arizona. And uh, I thought it was some kid. like horn thing or something. <laughs> You know, like D I X X O. Miami Dolphins colors. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. called the seventy two, and it's paying tribute to the undefeated season. Oh, it looks like it's, you should give me that. It'd be a good yeah, gift you, for you. That's for why me I to sent me. it to you. Yeah, that, but you didn't well, buy it. Yeah, yeah. you can't. Yeah, Daniel wants you to buy it, and then yeah. you send it because Daniel's the biggest goddamn moocher. <laughs> Mooch. For your, ah, for your gift, you gave the plus one of, up at the top and bottom of this frame here. <laughs> I put I put that plus one there. I, I know, but I added it to reason. the logo. So just say plus Chubby one. Buddies plus Mooch. Like <laughs> your nickname in this podcast should just be the Mooch. Mooch. The me? Mooch? Yeah. Not me. You have always been the Mooch, bro. Not me. Oh, oh yeah. never. That's not well, what I do. Well, now that Jordan has actually had a chance to uh now, Josh, have you tried the new uh flavors of beef sticks? I have. Oh my goodness. I even have well, the hot ones right here. Well, before we get into that. that, let's play this promo. Well, how do you feel about the hot food? Yeah, it's delicious. Like, I'm let's eating it right now. It's so good. <laughs> for now so what's your favorite out of all the flavors so far josh so i've had the peppered the original and now the hot and original amazing peppered's really good but it, i mean it does have a very strong pepper flavor and i like that because i like the peppered flavor hot is gonna have the spice of the peppered but nowhere near the peppery flavor and i really like that too I don't know. I think original is still my favorite, but both the hot and the peppered are really good. Jordan? Well, <laughs> funny story. Um, so I didn't I didn't get all the flavors. <laughs> so so what had happened was was Bo sent it to the hotel at the local, thinking that I was gonna be working. 
So the staff saw it, said that it was to the Leavenworth local. So they thought it was their beef jerky. Awesome. Love so it. they ate all the beef jerky and they ate most of the meat sticks. So all I have was I have a peppered one, which was which was the, the top one for me. And then I have a sweet I have two sweet and spices. And I think it was one or two hot. And that's all I've tried because that's all I had left. So what'd you think? <clears throat> Cracked pepper was number one for me. It's great, right? <clears throat> and then hot and then sweet and spicy. Because I haven't tried original and I haven't tried any of the other ones. So you tried original. You know, your original was yeah, you tried original the first, yeah, you tried original <clears throat> the first oh, time. Oh. Then and the, okay. So then cracked pepper, original, hot, sweet and spicy. And the hmm. uh, bacon jalapeno, he said, would be uh, finished this past week. So he said he'd probably get it out. I'm sure he'll probably wait a little bit. And I cannot I, I, I wait for the bacon for jalapeno. Flavor. I think that'll probably be. I think that'll probably take the cake for the baconish flavor. I think that'll be resonate with me more than the jerky does. But the jerky's phenomenal too. Daniel, what's your top? Um, I'm gonna go. Black pepper is my favorite. It's 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 by far the best meat stick so far. Um, follow that up with hot because I think it's it almost it's very similar to the original in taste, but it has the spice and that spice so, makes it. You know what I'm talking about though, like got all the spice and flavor, just mm-hmm. not the peppery taste. Yep, and then and then I'll go with after that I'm gonna go original, and then so far the bottom is sweet and spicy. Mine is also cracked pepper, and I think it's because of the bold flavor. I like pepper. I mean, I could cover all my food in pepper. Ooh, but oh, yeah. Jamie thinks that it's too peppery. I think it's perfect. I think it's going to depend on if you like pepper or not. Then my second one's going to be hot. I think it could be spicier. I think it, to, to put the word hot on there, I think it should kind of say, oh, take it easy with this. It could be much more zesty, in my opinion. But tastes phenomenal. Third is original it. and sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy sort of tastes like the, the hot minus the sweet, in my opinion. But they all four taste great. But I'm still a jerky fan over the meat sticks. In my opinion, jerky, I, I prefer jerky over meat sticks. Meat sticks are good for like a, a quick little snack for me. And then jerky, I could eat that stuff all day long. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's, it's weird that like... To me, the sweet and spicy is on the very bottom of my list, and I think it's going to stay there. If there's teriyaki ones, and if there's... Um... Who got ice? Heather. If there's if there's a teriyaki flavor or a bacon jalapeno no flavor, I still think they're going to be above sweet and spicy, but Just sweet and spicy thing. is my favorite jerky flavor. So it's like... This is for you. You're really- it's weird to me that the meat sticks... I thought the sweet and spicy meat stick was going to be my favorite. And it wasn't. And that's just weird. I was glad that the pepper was as flavorful to me because when I got the original the first time, I was hoping for like that, I guess, type of smoky taste that you get in jerky. But I had to forget that it was a meat stick and not jerky. But it, they all taste the great. Good, <clears throat> the good thing about it is that these flavors aren't locked in with. Right. You know they're they're still adjusting it. So you said they're about two to three months out before they actually are concrete with a recipe that they're going to stick with. Yeah, because they're not selling them right now. They just made a bunch of the flavors and they're just handing them out right now for. They're using the chubby buddies as their test dummies, and we love it. And oh, yeah. while we're on that while we're on that subject, if you go to www.feedonprimal.com and use code chubby. That is C H U B B Y for fifteen percent off. Thank you, Prime. Well, thank you, Bo. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Primal. Soon to be something else. Not sure when, but it'll happen. Now, Jordan, I needed to ask you: Was this list good for you for the jerky rankings? It wasn't necessarily a big deal. I was just asking if I got yours right. I guess so we got sweet and spicy. Yes, bacon jalapeno. Yes, cracked pepper. Yep. yep. Yep, that looks good. All right. So I didn't fail everybody. <clears throat> but no. no, like we said before, check out feedonprimal.com. You were going to get 15% off if you use the code Chubby, but if you spend $50 or more, you were going to get free shipping. So that's pretty much getting one free bag plus 15% off. 
So why not at least try it? Try all six flavors. Highly suggest that because you're, you're never going to go wrong with it because if you don't like it, somebody next to you probably will. Thanks again, Primal. Thank you, Primal. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So my quick question before we get on to uh, our sports segment, is the game over yet? Uh, a minute and 48 seconds left. And it's still a blowout, right? Yeah. It's 23-41. However, Seattle's down at the two. Oh, well, on take that, that back. Huh? It was 23-41. They went for two. They did not get it. So, Okay. So the 49ers will go on. So let's talk a little sports, fellas. <laughs> Not much has been going on in the football world other than the talk of the Dallas Cowboys. Do you guys think it's going to be a blowout game or is it going to be a close game or are the Cowboys going to do what they do every year and fail? Jordan? I think they're going to fail. And I already know Josh's answer. And it's not. And it's, I don't think it's because of the, I just think it's going against Tom Brady. I think for some reason he's going to find a way to win. Because he still has a chance. Yeah, I don't think the Cowboys are a bad team. I think defensively and offensively they're good. But for Tom some Brady reason, is Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah, exactly. It's and hard it's to playoffs. Bet against that man. I've got two rules about about football. I don't bet against Tom Brady and I don't bet against the Cowboys. And unfortunately I had to this week, but I won't be upset because I, I, I expect the Cowboys to lose. But if they win, I'll be even more happy. All yeah. right. I only expect wow. them to so lose. So you've lowered your expectations. Good to know. I have to. I You have to when you get, like, in in 2001, you guys had low expectations for the Chiefs. I know you did. Oh, you yeah. You can't deny 2001? that. 2001 was right before they actually started beginning to get good. 2001. Dave Vermeil took over in 2001, didn't he? Oh. No. I, don't know. I thought he did. It was like uh, 2000. Andy oh. Reid has been our coach for Five years? I'm talking Ten. about before Dante Hall. Like first playoff run since 1993. They went in 2003, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, talking 2003. about. 2003. Yeah, 2003. That was Dick Vermeil's yeah. last season. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and that's what I'm After Green, Dick Vermeil's time, we were Trent in Green, a rough spot. Trent Green, Dante Hall. You had uh, Priest Holmes. Yeah. You had Tony Gonzalez still. Tony G. Yeah. I mean, you guys had a solid offensive team. Mm-hmm. So we you just to never lower your standards. Yeah, and 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 the time like when like 2012, 13, whatever, we were the worst team in the NFL. Oof. Like I still watch the Chiefs games. I just root rooted for them to lose just because of a better draft pick. Because I knew once you go into the season and you're like six and eight, six and nine, four and ten, whatever the case is, yeah, you're not making it to the playoffs. So you might as well just start tanking to get that draft pick. <laughs> What was their but, last uh, number one yeah. pick overall? Chiefs. Did they had one. Yeah, was it yeah. Rich Gannon? Eric Fisher. No, it was Eric Fisher. Oh, okay. And before that, that was 2012, 2013. Uh, I don't remember. I know. No, I don't remember. I gotta, I gotta change my perspective on football. Like my whole life, the Dolphins have sucked, and I've always expected them to win, and it's always a disappointment, and it sucks. I need to like stop, stop expecting them to win. You have to start looking at your team as an organization that has to play long ball. So you have to start cheering for a couple of good rebuilding years and a good GM, and then things start moving the right direction. Our GM I think, great. I think the Dolphins are there. I just don't yeah, think, I think quarterback. So I don't That's think Tua is the guy. I think he can be. If he just stops getting concussions. Right. And that's what if makes he me say, I don't think he's the year. guy. I don't think there's, he's the guy know, because he cannot try blocking. Because your best ability is availability. And if you don't have, oh, if yeah. you're not available to play, like you got to find somebody else to do it. And I like, I 100% feel like Tua would have been MVP without any concussions this year. Yeah. If he would have played all 18 weeks, like, yeah, I think yeah, he would have been the MVP. in week two. Oh, yeah. He had three concussions this year. No, it was I'm week saying four. his first one was in week, I thought week it was week four, two. Maybe, maybe it was, it was week Thursday two. night football. That was the uh, second. Same. That was the second one where he got knocked out. Yeah. Well, well and then plus, like very scary. Like the next, plus he got hurt at Alabama, and then he didn't injury. play, and then all of a sudden he was like top five draft pick. 
The only yeah. twenty hey, Bobby, you're on air lights not on. What? How are we gonna know if you're on air? Oh, I gotta fix that. I gotta put something behind it so that the white balance doesn't mess it up to where you can read it because it's a white uh, wall and I didn't account for that. So I gotta make a piece of wood to put on it. Gotcha. That's the only reason it's never been on. Okay. I was just curious. I was reading it and I was like, huh, why isn't why doesn't he have it on? I could show you what it looks like, but it'd take a minute. But all right. Eating jerky. Jordan, what's the game of the week for this this week's this round of the playoffs? What do you think? What do I think? Okay. What are you watching? I I'm okay. Jacksonville against the Chargers. I think that could be a really good game. I really want Jacksonville to win, but I think San or San Diego, I think the Chargers are going to take it. On the NFC side, I am excited to watch. Minnesota and the Giants game. I think Minnesota could be on upset alert. Really? I do. That's and very no. possible. I think I took New York. Did I take New York? I took New York. Oh no, I took here. I got the list right here. But I know that there we all had the 49ers by easy. That was yeah. default. But Jordan, go ahead and give us all yours. Give give yeah, us all yours. Yeah, Jordan, yours. we need your we need your playoff bracket. Okay. Um, Jacksonville against the Chargers. I really want Jacksonville to win, but I think I think the Chargers will pull it out. Um, I think the Bengals will will beat the Ravens. I don't think that's going to be a close game. Uh, and is Lamar playing? No. He's okay, because I've seen Hunley was hurt too, so I didn't yeah, know. Lamar's out if, too. Okay, I think that's going to be a big blowout. It's going to. I be a really blowout. want. I really want Miami to win, but I think with the quarterback situation, I don't think they're. If their run game takes off and they don't have to pass it, I think they're good. But I think defensively, Buffalo's got a sneaky good defense. Last, last, time, we, good last defense. time we played Buffalo, we went off in the run game. Let's do yeah, it. I think if you do that and you don't have to pass, I think you guys got a pretty good shot. And then, obviously, the run game opens up to play action, get Tyreek open, get Waddle open. But so Skyler Thompson's really good in the pocket. Is Tyreek, is Tyreek still injured or no? No, I think he'll play go. every game. Um, so I see Buffalo winning that game. Um, let's see, NFC side. I think Tampa Bay is going to win just because it's Tom Brady. If there's anybody other than Tom Brady, I would pick Dallas. Um, New York, the Giants and the Vikings. I think Vikings Call are on upset, upset alert. Call for it. So I'm going to go with the Giants on that one. There it is. Um, and then obviously the Niners. Obviously. That obviously was, the Niners. Yeah, obviously, dude. Yeah, we had a play out to where everybody chose who's going to the Super Bowl. We already know who you're going to. Yeah, so finish it out, bro. Yeah, okay, so 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 one against one against five. So Kansas City playing at home against the Chargers, divisional rival game. I think Kansas City takes it. Um, let's see, Buffalo against the Bengals. Talk about a rematch with with the Demar Hamlin situation mm-hmm. there. That would be cool to to watch. It'll be in Buffalo. I I think Buffalo takes it um, with that. So AFC side, Kansas City against Buffalo. I'm biased. I'm taking Kansas City to to go to the Super Bowl. NFC side, I think the Eagles will upset. Well, not upset. I think they'll beat Tampa, Tampa Bay. I think the Niners will beat the Giants. Wait, wait, wait. No. The Hang Eagles on. No, it would be the Giants what? against the Eagles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Giants against the Eagles. I think yeah. the Eagles win it. Actually, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure the Eagles win it. No. Um, 49ers? Yeah, Brock 49ers. Tom Brady? For, yeah, 49ers, I think, win it. Um, NFC side. So a rematch in the Super Bowl, huh? No, I think is it Philly be gets a new there. New Heights Super Bowl, baby. I think I think a Philly new gets Heights there. Super Bowl, let's go. So, and 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 it's I'm I don't remember the last time a Super Bowl's had two number one teams go. Yeah, I don't know the last time that's happened. I think it'll be uh, a great fight. Probably it's Ravens. Well, Phillies. the Ravens were number one. Chiefs and the Eagles. Let's go. And it could have be been Patriots. recent. It it's got to be a Jay Patriots off. game. Where, where both sides were number Wasn't one. Wasn't Bengals now? number one? Last Bengals year. last year were number two. Who's number one? Chiefs. KNC. 
They beat Kansas City at Kansas City. It's got to be a Patriots Super, Super Bowl. Yeah, it's got to be. be a Patriots Super Bowl. Look that up, yeah. typewriter or mooch. So I think Kansas City, Kansas City, Philly, that'd be a good game to watch. Both explosive offenses. Both have pretty good defenses. So how, good of, a game, how good of a game would it be Chiefs versus Cowboys in the Super Bowl? I think it'd be a good game. I don't want to hear a Cowboy Nation come out Uh -uh. because. Have I ever made Cowboy Nation goals? No, I'm not saying you, but I'm saying like your tradition for Cowboys. It's America's team. Well, America's team ain't won in a lot of while. So I don't know how. I don't know how they're America's team when they haven't won in 20, 30 years. It's because they sell the most jerseys. That's the only reason. Uh, Well. I mean, I mean, number one still cheap. this year is. Uh, I want to know which one it was. This is crazy. Mm. Really, the last time a one v one. Oh, I was wrong. Number one overall. The last time it happened was Philly versus New England. Oh, that was so, with uh, Nick Foles. No, that was with Andy right. Reid back then. It was the Philly special. So yeah, it was Nick uh, Foles. Oh, wow. oh, really? They were number one. Apparently. And then the time before that, it was the Carolina Panthers with Cam Newton. Huh. That's wild. Hmm. The time before oh, that, Cam Newton was, was uh, Denver. Peyton, the Broncos. The, the time before that was uh, Seattle and Denver. Seattle wasn't number one, were they? I thought they were a wild card. No, that was in 2000 and uh, whatever when uh, the Cowboys was- lost. When That's Romo crazy. dropped the ball, well, on Legion of the Boom was the number one, which makes sense. The big, the fucking team was insane. Yeah. yeah, that team was insane. That team was like absolutely. What about that like, one versus the Patriots? Then versus the Patriots, that had been a close number one one, also. I think. Either yeah. way, okay. So last week I asked those two uh, who their offensive rookie of the year was, defensive rookie of the year, and also a coach of the year. What's your What's your guess on offensive rookie of the year? Fuck, who's the offensive rookies? On the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the offensive rookies? Um, Offensive rookie of the year? Yeah. I'm just going to tell you, somebody in this podcast said Brock Purdy. I said Brock Purdy. (laughs) I I don't think he's got a long enough resume. Exactly. Um, Fuck, who are the rookies? Kenneth uh, Walker is the number one, I think, running back. Kenneth Walker's there. I didn't vote for Kenneth Walker. Brock Purdy is number two, by the way. And Pacheco barely didn't get into the top five, I don't believe, as the, as the numbers were dwindling down. I Although took I think the Green Pacheco Bay. has an argument, though. Huh? I took the Green Bay receiver. Oh, Watson. Who, Watson? Christian Watson? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not even in the top ten. He put up. I think he's, he I think he's like number five. If I... I thought he was in the, outside the top ten. Barely oh, made it list. Maybe. Uh... It's two running backs. I knew that. Ooh, excuse me. It's the Seattle running back, and I want to say the uh, Titans running back. No, not, Titans, this, uh, the Texans, my bad. Texans this list back. I'm looking at has Kenneth Walker, running back Seattle. Damian Brock Purdy Pierce, is number yeah. two, which I don't. No. I don't think he's got a long enough resume. Garrett Wilson, wide receiver for the Jets. Oh yeah. Chris Olave, wide receiver for the Saints. Kenny Pickett. Ooh, how is he in the top five? I mean, he's not playing. I, I don't know. Bad. I don't know. Oh, positive. Because that's like the, the final numbers that they put out every year, I think. I mean, Isaiah Pacheco could be one, uh, which I'm just biased. Damian Pierce, isn't he a rookie? Mm, yeah. For the Texans? Yeah, yeah I that's thought who he I was went off pretty about. well. I thought he was in the top five last time I looked, but that was a week ago, so. Yeah, I... So you're going to be biased? No, I mean, Kenneth Walker could do it. Or Garrett Wilson from the Jets. I just don't, I don't, I'm not like sold 100% on any, any of these. It's not going to be two Jets players. And it's 100% going to be Sauce Gardner on defense. Yeah, yeah. No, well, that's what I was going to say on defense. See, and I Gardner. disagreed. I said G, uh, Jamie. Uh, I know who I went with because I drafted you him. You went with uh, Hutchinson. Well, yeah, I went with Hutchinson on defensive. But offensive, I went uh, Rashad White. For the Bucks, I thought he's been playing lights out all year. Yeah, I don't. It's that one's tricky, or even like Kayvon Thibodeau. 
the DN for the Gi- the Giants. Aiden Hutchinson, DN for the Lions. Aiden Hutchinson was my pick for defensive. <laughs> Who's that be. Seattle one? Tariq, are... Tariq Woolen, Mook, whatever. What about that 49ers yeah. safety that looks like uh, uh, Troy Polamalu? Yeah. yeah, dude's insane. He's not even in the top 10, I don't think. Is he, is he a rookie? Pick? I don't even know if he's a rookie. I thought he was. I don't Maybe know. Maybe his second year. Jordan, who's your uh, coach of the coach year, of the year. And MVP pick? Coach of the year? Coach yeah. of the year. Realistically or biasly, Josh went biased. So did Daniel. I also had a valid reason. Though. Daniel? You you picked, didn't you pick your coach? Yeah, he picked Mike McDaniel. But, I mean, that wasn't really a biased decision. I like Nick Sariani for the Eagles. Oh, God. I think, I mean. I said Dan Campbell. I mean, Dan Campbell, yeah. Uh, I think if he would have made the playoffs, he probably would have had a stronger shot. I said yeah, Andy no because matter. he matched our best record season. Yeah. And I just, completed his second team's 100-win season. Yeah, yeah but we're usually, not talking about all-time coach. We're talking about in a, You're in, right, but I think that's a huge achievement on top of an amazing I, statistical I think how the NFL votes it, and correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am, but they always seem to either give it to like the rookie coaches or the coaches that have only been there in a couple of years. Mike McDaniels. So that's why I'm saying like Nick Sirianni. He got the number one seed on the NFC side. He's Didn't only been there for one, two like years. The year that he went to the Super Bowl. I don't know. And Maybe I mean, the Steelers coaches won it. How much ammo does that even give you? You nothing, know, if you win coach of the year, you know, nothing. unless you win the Super Bowl, it doesn't mean shit. All right, MVP. Uh, you think of Patty Mahomes, right? baby. Patty Mahomes, yes, sir. Well done. If oh, not, Jalen Hurts, yeah. close second. Jalen Hurts, close second for sure. Or I took Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is definitely a close second on it. I, I said Josh Hurts. Allen. Huh? It's Josh that, Allen. It's definitely hey, Jalen hey. Hurts. You leave Number Josh one. Allen alone. Number two. I like Josh Allen. Allen. I just wish he didn't play for the Bills. I, I know. I hate right? Josh Allen because he plays with the Bills. Well, like, go play, play for, like, the Saints or somebody. Yeah, go play for an NFC team that we yeah. don't have to see on a regular. You know what? I then I can like, like you more and I can cheer 98% you. of quarterbacks. I hate them all. Before we move on, I have a I have a little trivia game for Jordan. That It's a, it's a stat slash whatever. Ooh. Can you tell me the last year a defensive player got MVP? Ooh. And player. The last year a defensive player. The last player. year and player. I know. I have a guess. The last year. So if Jordan don't get it, I'll let Josh try to take it. Got MVP. MVP? Mm-hmm. Not like Super Bowl MVP, right? MVP. Like, for the season. Was it recent? No. It's, there's only, I don't ever, it's only happened twice. Uh, I don't ever watch those. Can I give him the year? Josh, Josh, I think you are thinking of a, a Super Bowl MVP, and that's not him. Okay, Ravens that probably, no. Oh, okay. Is it Lawrence Taylor? It is Lawrence Taylor. Can you guess the year? 1992. 84, I do believe. Damn. No. Yeah, 1986. Damn. I was, was going to say 86 was my first game, but I was like, I don't know if he's that old, but he is. I was going to say J.J. Watt. Wasn't J.J. Watt was in, like, defensive player of the year. He was defensive player of the year. Uh, I do because they had that in the highlight back. video that he had. Who's the last I, I running back to win MVP? Getting... To win MVP? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What years or what decade? Uh, 2000s. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah, Lawrence up. Taylor in 86. And the one before that was like in the 60s, I do believe. Crazy. Hmm. I did see I think, a stat the other day. It was uh, Tom Brady has won every other Super Bowl since 2013. That's wild. Do you know who the last running back to win MVP was, Jordan? The last running guess. back to win MVP? Mm-hmm. Did they win the Super Bowl that year that he was MVP? I couldn't tell you that. Was it LT? Running back? No. Well, oh, Daniel oh, Daniel oh, Daniel oh I was like, wait, what? I I'm going to guess... Uh, uh, Larry Johnson, and he wasn't in. He wasn't in the Super Bowl, obviously. But Larry Johnson or LT, they're about the same time. Am I right or am I wrong? You're wrong. Tell me. Oh, 
Yeah, I was waiting too. Sorry. Who was it? I was, it y'all ready for it? Oh, Chris Johnson? No. Damn. How far back was it? How many? It, like it's after either of those players. After? Really? For MVP? It was after Chris Johnson and LT. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Jamal Lewis. Oh, Derek Johnson? No, this oh. is after. Jamal Lewis was before them. Oh. Alvin Kamara? Nope. Um, oh, this is a fun game. Oh, wait. Um, was it the 49ers? Uh, 49ers uh, running back that went to the Dolphins? Frank Gore? No, the, uh, the one that they have now. He left the Dolphins, got traded to the Dolphins. Le- left the Niners and got traded to the Dolphins. Who? Just rec- I thought he was... Last year, I thought, or after, right after they won the Super Bowl, lost the Super Bowl. Who? What player are you talking about? <sighs> the running back? Yeah. Or was that a wide receiver that left? Wow. At first, I was going to say the Eagles running back. Stop searching, Jordan. I was going to say <laughs> yeah. You're driving me nuts. You're not fucking yeah. saying anything. <clears throat> yeah, you're it's terrible. Adrian scandal. Peterson. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Is it really? Oh, was that with the Vikings? Come on, Jordan. With the Vikings, the year he broke the single season record. Yeah, the two thousand with Favre. Yeah. You look, hey, who's wow. the running back MVP? And I'm throwing out guesses. And you're not saying like you're just. That's all you're doing. You didn't say nothing. Well, hey, before we get into uh, the machine versus the bench warmers, why don't we talk about XWE? <laughs> Unfortunately, Fox City is a little close to the first show of the year, but hopefully there will be another one that we'll be able to make. But the next upcoming one is in Salina, Kansas on January 21st. And he's let out, he's he's given a lot of, uh, I guess, fight promotions for this one, hasn't he? Daniel? What? Hasn't BJ uh, promoted a lot of fights for this upcoming show? Like, uh, who's the I chick think- that's... I think, there's a, I think there's a bunch going through on the uh, XWH Facebook page. Yeah. That and I'm sure as many as I can. Up. What's her name? Like Stormy Renee? Stormy, 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 Stormy Renee. Renee's got yeah. uh, some good stuff coming up. She seems like she's like Buddha's a got female. A yeah, he's got somebody challenging him. But she's fighting some guy by the name of Dick Richards. Dick Richards. Dick Richards. Oh, the woman that's in the, the empire. Empire. that stole the title. Oh, that's the dude I watched. Title. He that's is the dude I laid out. Champion. Oh, is that the dude? Yeah, he Dick Richards. Dude. Mm-hmm. Shut up. That's Richards. why I laid him out. Shut up. But no, mm-hmm. uh, Josh and Daniel, or yeah, Josh and Daniel both got to go to the show. We sure did, and Daniel even got identified as the Chubby Buddy sponsor. And he got pissed and off, was, like when Jordan so got hit yeah. the back it. of the head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get mad. I just didn't expect it. And I and I wasn't prepared. I would have hit. You were I would, a little, I would you not have been a little moody about it. He would have went, 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 went to point me out, and I would have been nowhere to be found. I'd have been in the bathroom. Was the spotlight on you? Everybody turned around and looked at me at the same time. It was terrible. Rags, you're I mean, ugly. You're like, oh god, he's the spokesperson well, that, for I mean, this everybody's podcast. That makes it even worse. Like, don't turn around and look at me. It reminds right. me of the Seinfeld episode where Costanza's <laughs> eating eating at the uh, the. The Sunday bar at the tennis match, and like the camera zooms in on him during the news ad, <laughs> and he's got his face is just covered like a two year old. I, I have they're getting nachos, he's got cheese in his beard and shit. I don't, I don't I know need- if y'all noticed, but um, the dude that did that shout out joined the um, the Facebook the other day, and you like, you're like, That's- let's welcome them, and I'm like, no, That's that dude great. looks like the awfully familiar to the guy that. That's an automated email. post thing. I don't actually post that one. But go back and look at the comments on it, because that dude was like, "Sure did not do it again." No, you won't. That's I'll next time you're funny. That <laughs> That's no. funny. But no, I told Daniel if if it was me, I would have taken the mic and I'd have pushed this goddamn podcast. <laughs> yeah, but Daniel's like, "Oh, I'm, I just turtled up. I didn't do anything." I don't, I don't uh, want my to job is that. to make some graphics. Your job is to talk to people. All right. <laughs> but no, they have a lot of great matches coming up in January. Uh, Specifically at the Salina show that's coming up uh, next Saturday. Yeah, January 21st at the 4-H building. In Salina. Well, I will be at the Wichita Bridal Expo, so I will not be able to go to this show. But I was going to try to make the February 25th show if Daniel wants to go with me. 
probably okay. try to bring Jamie. And yeah, okay. Eight, so they got eight. they got yep. Ray Leon and Dick Richards versus Paradox and Stormy Renee. Oh, that's good. They also fantastic. got Aaron Helms versus Niles Plunk. Oh, Helms will be there? Oh, yeah. that dude's a punk. I love uh, looks like a, him. Looks like a up on. A heavyweight title match, Kuda versus Calvin Aldridge. Oh, shit. And I think Calvin Rogers wasn't he? Was he part of the like the Empire? What's he, he like? What is Calvin? Is he, he's part of the Empire. So. Yeah, yeah. He, I know he uh, was. I, I think he won the number one contender spot. He, yeah, he won he, it in a match. He was also like a in the four the the eight man tag last year. Yeah, he was. He was in the eight man tag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No shout out to XWE and uh, Billy with XWE. Head over to their Facebook page. Uh, you'll get way more information than what we can give you about individual fighters. I think that the Facebook page will do them justice since we don't actually get to follow them every single thing. They he, Billy is just a huge supporter of the podcast, and we want to do nothing but try to support as many things as we can with XWE. They're a local, locally owned brother of two of the guys in here, mm-hmm. Billy Simmons. Shout out to you, my friend. They put on a great show, let me tell you. Family friendly. But we are at probably a fan favorite part of the show, and uh, I couldn't be more happy that it's back this week, and I'm sure everybody else is also. How about you guys? Yeah, I'm let's excited. do it, baby. Let's go. Come on, machine. Let's see. I kind of miss this, that noise. Mm. Like, I was kind of, I was kind of sad that I couldn't, uh, play it last week yeah jordan did you the get enough clarity is- did you get enough clarity <laughs> to prepare yourself this week no not I, I will say this is the best part of the podcast this oh is what this goodness. is what i really get Ego into much it, you know Ego i'm much. on the camera the most you guys see me the most you hear me yeah. talk the most so yeah is that San? okay that's not san diego state <laughs> <laughs> whose pick is this all right, we got <laughs> the first clue. It's your Mountain Dew shaker over there. What college is that? that? I don't know. Oh, is it <laughs> South Dakota? It is South, South Dakota. Jackrabbits, South is Dakota. It? For real? Oh. So clue number one for the player. Never mind. Um, yeah. Clue number one. He almost gave it away like Josh did. Is South oh. Dakota State. So I was South Dakota State, buddy. I was it planned in my head. South Dakota Jack State. Rabbit. Uh, I'm thinking tight end here. I'm thinking Dallas Goddard. Oh, all right. No. That is incorrect. Oh, We're going to move on into head to drafted by been... the New England Patriots in 1996. 96? We a little older. We a little older. Mm. Josh has always got these sneaky picks that I know. Um, buddy that's why we're best friends i know you well enough to give you something that will challenge you but that i know you can still get so let's go south dakota in 1996 for the patriots for the patriots um i need position here that's Um, what i need i need position i have to guess something though um (laughs) <laughs> Throw out a name. South Dakota's 96. Um, While he's trying to guess this, uh, if you follow us on YouTube, hit that like button, please. And right now, comment who you think it is. The first clue is San Diego, San Diego State. State. Second clue is they were drafted by the Patriots in 1996. But hit that like button. Follow. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you Wait, are subscribing, it? unsubscribe and then resubscribe. Is it? Jordan? It's South Dakota, right? It's yeah. not San Diego, Diego State. I thought he no. said San Diego. No, no, South Dakota State. South oh. Dakota State. My bad. South Dakota State. South Dakota State. Oh, First my group. stars. Um, oh, let's Lord. go with 1996. Um, <laughs> Dwight Freeney. 
Nope. That is incorrect. We're I know it is. Incorrect. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to say it. Three. You don't have to say it's incorrect. Get number, number three. Uh, Get number uh, three. Uh, the last half, last team he played for was the Indianapolis Colts. Let's hear this guess. For me. Okay, South Dakota State drafted in 1996 for the Patriots. He last played for the Colts. What's your guess for everybody that's watching or listening? Do you know any players? If you got it already, played please for the let Patriots, us know. I want to know for the who's Colts. better than the machine in the comments. You got to be fast, though, if you're going to be Jordan. But maybe <laughs> not today, though. Yeah, this one's a stinker. <laughs> Challenge. Are you ready for position? Let's get a player. Let's move to position. Let's get this. Yeah, let's get. Yeah, let's Make move to position. Make I guess. Make a I hate play. I hate having to throw out a guess because it's just gonna be some Every random dude time. that I know didn't go there. Uh huh. That's the best part. Um, give me a Colts player. Let's go. Uh, Who, who's the make best sure to Colts mock player. him relentlessly if he guesses somebody that is terrible. Let's go with uh, <laughs> Stephon Gilmore. Oh, that is incorrect. Let's I know it's on. incorrect. You don't have to say it. <laughs> We're going on the He's making no. the face. We're going if with the was face. The the face. Yeah. the face. Adam Vinatieri. Hey, hey, got it hey. Oh, my oh my god, dude! Oh, A fucking kicker. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Josh. All right, who's it's going amazing. To it's you, amazing Bobby? how the I don't moment care, you found the, the position, next one that's in line. you immediately All knew right. the players. Uh, well, well yeah, he's a great kicker. He's a great kicker. All right, we knew him. He just one. couldn't think of him until I told you he was a kicker. Jordan, you ready for number, number two? One. West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Tennessee. Geno Smith. Hit number one is West Virginia. And he first was wrong. Hint, the first guess is Geno Smith, and that's incorrect. Let's move on to number two. He was drafted. Okay, what the fuck's this Colts thing? Why is everybody got to be either playing on the Colts or drafted by the Colts here? <laughs> Damn uh, Colts. That was bro. by lucky. That was by happenstance. Happenstance. Uh, Colts in 2009 from West Virginia. Um, 2009. That would have been before Andrew Luck. So it would have been Peyton Manning's era there. So this man's an like animal. Well. No, he's a machine. That's right. Okay, hey, it's not quarterback. It's machine. not running back. I don't think, unless they you drafted somebody weird. You'll get your position. You know, tight you don't need end. To wait that long, you got this. Tight end was Dallas Clark at that time. If we didn't say it, hint number two is drafted by the Colts in 2009. Dallas Clark. Receivers would have been what? Marvin Harrison. Um, Marvin Harrison. And then, oh, fuck. The other dude that went to Miami. So I'm thinking defense now. Talk about Mike Wallace. No. Um, the other record holder with Peyton Manning? Is that no, he went to the Ted- University of Miami. Ted Ginn? Oh, no. I think talking about the uh, Dolphins. Uh, for the Colts. Ted Ginn was drafted by the Saints. I think he was like number 87. I don't know. You guys can look that up. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Bob, Bob Sanders. I know it's not right because he went to Iowa. Go. All right. Move that's incorrect. Let's move on to hit number three. The last TV played for was the Indianapolis. That's <laughs> just a stupid fucking – that's a stupid clue. That helps me. <laughs> that should have been like popped right up, shouldn't it? Oh, man. He's uh, a lifer with from the West Colts, Virginia. So the last team he played for, the Indianapolis Colts. Drafted by the Colts in 2009. And the college is West Virginia. Um, oh, God, I'm thinking corner, maybe. Who was corner? Uh, fuck, I don't know him. Uh, it's not Bob Sanders. It's not. No, he went to Texas. Um, is it a kicker or a punter? 
Uh, I forgot those were even possessions. Let's go, Tress. Let's go, Tress Way. I know it's not right because we went to Oklahoma. Go. All right, that's incorrect. We're moving on to hint number four: the position of punter. Oh my fucking god! Dude. <laughs> yeah. Hell or dickheads. What's the fuck? Special teams week. <laughs> Two thousand nine. Ah, uh, this is Pat McAfee. Yeah. Pat McAfee. Yeah. 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 Shout out Pat McAfee. Hell Shout yeah. Pat McAfee. I didn't know All he went right. to West Virginia. Yeah. We're moving on to the third one. That was a good pick, though. Hint is FSU. Mm. And he Florida lied State. about him being able to uh I think it was I think he lied about being able to punt the ball to actually <laughs> get a spot at the Colts. Oh really? Yeah, he goes, Hey, you can punt, right? He goes, Yeah. And he's never punted. <laughs> Florida State. Oh, God, there's too many. Uh, Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston. That's incorrect. We're I know on. it is. Drafted by the Raiders in the year 2000. The Raiders. Right. Okay, is this another fucking kicker? Is this a punter? <laughs> long snapper, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, got That's him, smart. long snapper. Oh. Uh, Drafted by the Raiders. Hmm. The Raiders. In the year 2000. In Florida State. 2000. Picking receiver here. Could be totally off. I really like uh, music. It's a vibe, right? Right now, we have the College of FSU, Florida State, drafted by the Raiders in 2000. I like the name of it, too. It's called Drip. Ooh. It's got some drip. It do. Mm. Give us somebody, Jordan. Um... Uh, Charles Woodson. All right, we're going to move on to hint number three. The last team he played for was the Seattle Seahawks. God, this is 2000. It's a good year. You should know this. I'm trying to think. 2000 was the tuck rule, right? right? East. So Charles Woodson. That would have been a really good team. Charles Woodson was there. It's not Rodney Harrison. Mm, I need a fucking position. Uh, FSU position. What what players come out of FSU? There's a lot. (laughs) That's Um, why he chose this play. Do you remember who it was, Josh? Mm-mm. Oh, is this Daniel's pick? This is my pick, yes. <sighs> the other two dickheads got you. We didn't get it. He got it right. Oh, well, you got it by, by the fourth one. He can get this one, too, by the fourth one. I don't know. Hey, uh, this is let's, bullshit. I'm taking that off. Work done. I know it's not right. Shut up. Go. All right. We're moving on to the last one. Gordon got that clue incorrect. Not we're going to move on to the position of kicker. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> How mad are you? This is the week of the kicker, right? That's what it all boils down to is the uh, kicker. State in 2000. Who the fudge was our kicker? <laughs> That's funny. Sebastian Janikowski. That's it. The Correct. Bass himself. There it is. Bass himself. Good old Seabass. Sebastian Jordan went three for three today. Uh, um, he knows even his special four. teams players can't necessarily get him from the college. <laughs> so <yet>. stupid. <laughs> I mean, they were all really good picks. And it was not but what I was so thinking. But you're bad because it's kickers and putters. <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking like, okay, wide receivers, defensive player. No. They're all special teams. Bit. Is this another kicker? I was like so hard, like <laughs> great face, like um. Is it? I don't know. Is this another kicker? 
Come on. Wasn't he their first round pick? Yep, that's why I, I think took so. Him. First, because they were like, well, uh, I think Josh started this, and he was like, let's go Adam Benatari. Well, no, he said yeah, I started first. Oh yeah. no, yeah, yeah, he was. I so the bro, brothers. Two, three weeks ago, I was gonna hit you with the Colt Clip brothers. Mm. And then Bobby was like, but I was gonna hit you McAfee. with. Uh, I was gonna hit you with Britain, not Dustin, just to uh, mess with you, because yeah, Dustin's too easy because he was our guy, right? But you should be able to get Britain too. Did they go to the same college, Tennessee? I think so. Okay. I, I mean, I almost went with uh, Thomas Morstead, the Dolphins punter. Oh, my and God. And then I was like. That was fun. That hard. was fun getting you with Kevin. And then so we went with. Uh, three we for three with, this uh, week. Yeah, at least you guys went with, like, names that I knew, not fucking Thomas Morstead. I told you we're going to get these guys He's trained. the best punter in the league right now. Okay. Well, that's that's bad for your offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. That's a stat you he don't have lead the best stat, But he has the best, like. Punt range landing it within the so many yards. I don't know. I think uh, I think Tommy Townsend's doing pretty good. He's only had to punt like four times. Yeah, that's why his stats are so good. That'd be great to be a punter on the Chiefs roster. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you don't have to do it that much. Do you think? I mean, there's some games, obviously, but you know, for the most part, you're punting what four or five times a game, if that. Hopefully. Hey, did you guys see they remade the movie House Party? Oh, I seen Christine said something about that. She's like, is this already a movie named House Party? They're in like LeBron's house. Or yeah, something? LeBron's uh, production company is the one who produced the movie. I don't know if they made it in his house, but it's uh, it came out. I think that's the bit because yeah. like there's a holograph of LeBron in it. Oh, I, so I know that sure has... the bit is that it's at LeBron's house. Oh, I know he's the producer of the of the movie because it has a. Uh, that redheaded comedian, and I forgot his name. He's pretty popular, but he's like uh, the guy white that, neighbor. That is the reason that LeBron plays for the Lakers. This production and playing movies, shit. I mean, it's smart. Josh, did you pick? A, did you pick a movie this week, yeah. or did you want to play your game? No, I got a movie picked. Well, while I got you're, a movie picked, but I'm also ready to play the game too. Well, let's play the game because we'll see how long that takes. Because. Okay. I think that'll be more enjoyable for all of us. Let me pull the game up and share it with us. Give me just a second, okay? Let's get the overlay up. Sounds anything you're watching? Where is it at? What? This overlay. Oh, yep. Yeah, a little bit of fun with a nerd. Who's the nerd? Josh? That's me. I'm I'm the nerd. Oh. That's me. Come I'm on, the where's... I'm the plus one. I like that. That's kind of a nice yeah. hat. That Nike hat. Well, you like this? I mean, I don't like the team. I don't know the team though. Oh, that's, that that's the Wolves. Oh, I thought that was. Uh... Isn't that the Reed Springs or something? It sure is the Reed Spring yeah. Wolves. It almost looks like the. Oh. Wolves. That's right, baby. Oh, you yeah, had the hat. It looks like the lo uh, New oh, Mexico State yeah. logo. Yeah. Wow. I think I remember that while we worked together. Well, I got two of them. Oh. Two of the exact same one, and then I got like a blue and gray one. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, it's giving me a little trouble. Give me just a second. No worries. You know, in the meantime, right. you guys could like, subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe. Absolutely, do that. And turn that bell notification on, and ding. <laughs> Let us know if you got any of the kickers or punters before Jordan. That would be <sighs> good. There's no way I nailed it. Why are waiting? Go grab a Mountain Dew. Just don't drop it on your way back. All or right, check it out. Or you might as well go get a new one. <laughs> Gee. That was the thing, though. Like, if his Mountain Dew got shooken up, he wouldn't drink it. No, he would Still. not. Oh, gosh. Even if it was just one Ridiculous. sip out of the bottle. And, they got and I think up. that's why I'd get pissed off, because I knew Dirty. I just wasted some money, because you guys wanted to be dicks about it. <laughs> I never shook up your Mountain Dew. I did it occasionally. No, but you farted but in my fucking when Doritos. I <laughs> that was what? A false what yeah. That is 100% true, Bobby. That is Don't not you true. Dare lie. Robert Evans spreaded that at the birthday party. It wasn't true. You absolutely at all. did it multiple times. No. You I, farted. Farted. Exactly. I don't believe it. You farted all the goddamn time. And anytime, yeah, I, I'll admit any, that I farted, but I'm not going to. Anytime fart somebody said either. the word fart, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> damn straight. God. Oh, fart my golly. fucking Dorito. All right, trivia let's from play the some 90s. Trivia from the 90s. All right, how are we doing this? Is it just like whoever says it first? Are we going taking turns? 
I think we should do. I think we should do whoever whoever said that this time. No, I think we should take turns. We put them. We put some stress on each other. All right, take turns, but then if they don't here. get it right, we'll steal. Okay, we'll offer steals. Okay, and okay. you only get one guess. I'm one assuming. Guess. Okay, but everybody knows like the rules. Multi choice answers. We can't see Daniel. Oh, I don't. I didn't play it. It's multiple choice. You so, bully. God, leave. Multiple choice. Calm down. There's Can three answers. Out? Don't get so. all sensitive. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> this game. Who's going first? Is all that in a bag of chips, y'all? It is time to get jiggy with this trivia and say who and see who the bomb is. We need some at music. Knowledge. Yeah, we need some drip. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Here we go. All right. Bobby, we're coming to you first. You ready? Bobby, first question. I know Bo would kill this In game. Boy Meets World, what is the crazy older brother? Oh, that's name? easy. Eric. Duh. Eric. Uh, Eric Matthews, that is correct. Well done. One point for Bobby. He was the funniest dude. All right. Yeah. Jordan, this question's yours. Okay. In how many countries did the Spice Girls debut album song Wanna Be <laughs> reach number one? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't I get Eric Matthews? Bro, I didn't say the questions would be even. Uh 26. 26? It's probably In 37. Correct. Daniel with the steal. I'm going to go with 19. Incorrect, Bobby. Yes. 37, baby. Does Bobby get it by, like, default? or do we just I think that's bullshit. I think there should only be one Well, then it should skip Daniel since he had the opportunity to steal. I think the skip sucks. I think the steal thing sucks. Well, I think it should just be who goes for whoever says it first. Just whoever says it first, you pain in the butts. Uh, All right, there we go. Let's do it. All right, so how about boy. this? Scrap, scrap uh, Bobby's point for Eric. Yeah, oh yeah. That was way too easy. So from here forward, first one to call out the answer gets it. Okay. Got it? I'm not a good reader. And don't right, read. I'll read it. I'll read it as Top fast to bottom, as I left can. Or right. <laughs> Top to it's bottom? Saved by the bell. What was Zach and Kelly dressed up as the night they broke Cowboy up? Cowboy and cowgirl. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet is correct. Oh. Daniel with the point. That's stupid. I didn't even. That's stupid. That was easy. Question. Next question. So Daniel has one point. Which of these NBA players appeared Michael in Jordan. 96 foot? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Jordan. Correct. It is Michael. I hate Jordan. you for that. <laughs> I hate you for that. I absolutely right. hate you for that. So Jordan has a point and Daniel has a point. Next one. In Friends, what was the Marcel. name of Ross's Francis. monkey? Damn it. <laughs> Jordan <laughs> cheating. <laughs> How am I it cheating? Was, You're saying it before Marcel it's Marcel was correct. <laughs> Marcel was correct. Two points for Jordan. Cheating ass. Hey, y'all didn't want to take turns, so screw you. <laughs> next question. Who lives next door to SpongeBob in the 1999 Squidward. series? SpongeBob Square. The Mrs. Puff. Sandy Cheeks. Shit, Squidward Tentacles, Sandy Cheeks, or Mrs. Pop? Jordan I already said, said Squidward. Squidward. I said Sandy Cheeks. Yeah. yeah. No, Sandy it's, doesn't live. It, it, is, it is Squidward, y'all. It is Squidward. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jordan is running away this one with three points. It's Daniel has one point, though. Here we go. Next one. Who wrote the book series Goosebumps? Oh, oh, I was that was a tie. That was no. dead ass me. That was me. I said Arlo. Dead time. ass. That was me. All three of you get a point. What? I so nailed it first. This game's time. stupid. I, I said it as soon as it You're winning. Up. How can you think? Because I should have had another point. I dead ass said it you first. You did get another point. You all you know, But point. they don't get a point just because they're slow. Who is the you comments did. who said that first? I said Arlo. I said uh, it. I said no, it first. I said it first. This nonsense is what I've had to put up with for 20 years. Okay. <sighs> 20 plus years with this nonsense. Okay. It is R.L. Stein. I know. Because I said it All first. All of you got a point. So Jordan's got four. Daniel's got two. Bobby's got one. Here we go. Next question. What was the name of the first cloned sheep making the news in 1996? Dolly. Was it Molly, Jolly, Dolly. or Dolly? Dolly. I said Dolly Wafer. I said Dolly Wafer. I heard no. Jordan. I, you said you said I, Jolly. 
I said Molly. Or Molly. I said Dolly. Uh, it is incorrect. It is not Molly. It is Dolly. So both Daniel and No, Molly that's bullshit. Dolly. I said Dolly. You did not. You <laughs> said Molly. This game's stupid. You're stupid. The crappy thing is, is like we can't see the que- like on my end, I can't see the question until after like kind of you're halfway yeah, through that's it. Good. That's good. That's what Let I Let me that's read good. it then. Yeah. No, because I need to see the answers first. All right. Next question. You want me to read it out loud and then show it? Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, God. What was the worldwide top-selling toy of 1996? Stretch Armstrong. Here we go. Hang on. Pogs, Buzz Lightyear, or Thunderbirds? Pogs. Oh, I don't know. I swear I said it's Pogs. Stretch Armstrong. I'm going to go Buzz. It's probably oh, Pogs. Thunderbirds. It is Buzz Lightyear. Oh. <laughs> The Buzz Lightyear toy was the best-selling toy of 1996. That's right. I knew that. That's 1996 to Stretch Armstrong. Fuck Buzz Lightyear. Bro, Stretch Armstrong Stretch was 94. like 92 or 94. I thought that was in the like 80s. That. I don't know. I'm just, I just threw out a, na- a year there. Uh, 1997. Whose ear did Mike Tyson partially buy? Evander Holyfield. Box Fuck. Good Lord. Eat it. Evander Holyfield. I All right, Jordan's Jordan disqualified. <laughs> what? Jordan is running away with this '90s knowledge. Jordan right, last is question. disqualified. Last question, Jordan for the win. Yeah. Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and Michelle Williams were. That's it, child. Yeah, no. <laughs> I hate you, Jordan. This game's fun. That's the beast, child. Oh. <laughs> 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 I want a rematch on a different I angle. swear I swear that was just <laughs> me barely getting the question out and Jordan blurting out the answer for every freaking one that's right he shouldn't get to say it until he, it was hey we should have took turns then y'all well, want we to do that first that turns. first thing rematch I was fine with whoever we were doing it yeah, yeah, I was better, too no other. all right let's start it over then okay what? okay but I one won game one more. All right, Bobby, question to you. In Boy Meets World... No, kidding. (laughs) Paul. Man, you guys are sour losers. Shut up. I'm not mad. (laughs) I'm pissed. Jordan cheated. That was great. Cheat to win, baby. Get him out of here. I'll win when he's not here. Now, did you win last week? Yeah. Oh, you did? Terrible move. shut up. I don't want to hear you talk anymore. What was it? It was movie trivia? Yeah, it was, yeah. Movie. it was explain a film plot badly, and so they had to guess what the movie was. It was wow. hit or miss. It was okay. How did How did Daniel win? I'm freaking goat. They were ter- I've never seen half the movies. Uh, All the goats were born on my birthday. You know that? Yeah, okay. LeBron James, Tiger Woods, and me, the three goats. <laughs> well, that was oh. random. And we're all Capricorns, which is goats. Well, wouldn't you all be a Capricorn if you were all born on the same day? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the symbol of Capricorn is the goat. And that's where we're all the goats. Well, sure Tom sure. Brady yeah. wasn't born. Yeah, Tom yeah. Brady's a scrub. Oh. oh. Is that his, uh, whatever Is that your it? professional athletic opinion? That's my Miami Dolphins fan opinion. Oh, that's okay. What that is. That sounds about right. Mm. Yeah. I'm so mad about that game. Well, you're gonna be mad about tomorrow's game too. Yeah, no, I'm not. I ain't mad at even. You don't, have, you don't have a new hatred for Josh Allen like you do for. I don't hate Josh Tom Allen. You I hate the Bills. To, you gonna learn to hate Josh. I Allen. I hate Justin Bills. Herbert more than I hate Josh Allen. I can't stand Justin Herbert. Who's Who's the one quarterback in the league you hate the most? Me. Just all of you. Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Joe Burrow. What? Okay. George's going to say Russell Wilson. Don't need him. I'm going to have to agree with Joe, uh, Joe Burrow. He's too cocky for me. I'm going to go Kyler Murray. Really? Yeah, he's just a little shit. You know, uh, just a turd. I can't stand Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I can't stand him. I don't like Aaron. Uh, I like Aaron Rodgers. I think he's funny. I, I, hate th- all I, know, I know all the girls are into Joe Burrow, but he's just too cocky. He's good looking. Him. He looks like he's me. too arrogant. <laughs> He I looks like, like freaking Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> he looks hey, like Macaulay he should be Culkin. running. He looks like he should be setting up traps in his home against two home bandits. Okay, 
I mean, he's he's good looking. Would you for a meal? A meal? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> His eyes lit up like candy. A came meal? In room. <laughs> yeah. Any time a meal's involved, you can't say no. What? That's right. You absolutely can. No. You can. Yeah, no. no. You cannot say no. no to a meal. I'm not you denying know. that he's not a good looking dude, but for a milly? Once you've done that, tax, you've tax never free. Not done that. Tax free? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's I'd kidding. still do it even if taxes were involved, okay? <laughs> well, it's just, I mean, no. We need to get this up here so we can see you audit. and waddle. So we, in 2022, yeah, I'm, I'm turning you into the IRS Where did this $787,000 come from, Jordan? Well, sir, um, have you heard of Joe Burrow? I had a laundromat. That's <laughs> I got a laundry mat. <laughs> I own a laundry mat. You know? Clean and money. I you? myself in sweaty clothes. Movie reference. Ready, go. What's it where? TV show reference. Breaking Bird. Bad. There you I go. Oh. I didn't know answer. what the clue was. <laughs> a laundry mat. I own a laundry mat. Oh, I'd have got it for that, but you said movie oh. reference. And I'm like, oh, what? what's the reference? You didn't repeat what yourself. laundry mat? Yeah, what laundromat and Breaking Bad? They had, just, they had a car wash. wash. Car wash. Oh, yeah, shit. It was a car wash. Was yeah. a, well, See, Bobby so I got it. Bobby got, got it. it. No, Bobby I got it right. Bobby, Bobby guessed, guessed it correctly. Well, okay, but you gave the shittiest clue. Hey, okay. When one Let's dumb go. person guesses another <laughs> dumb person's answer, that doesn't mean it makes it good. All right. Because y'all are both just dumb. I, I got some for Jordan. See, that's why he's a bully. <laughs> let, me, let me get Jordan. Let me get Jordan here. Jordan. Your argument's not fucking It says it's like a riddle. Or question. And I went around work asking this question after watching the TikTok, and I really want to see if I can get you. All right. So if you're driving a bus and at the first stop, you pick up three people. Okay. Or no, you pick up five people. At the okay. first stop, you pick up five people. At the second stop, you drop off three people. And at the third stop, you pick up seven more people. Right? Okay. Pick what up colors five, the bus driver's hair? Three. What color is the bus driver's hair? All right, repeat it. Huh? <laughs> repeat it. That's no. not hard at all, Why? dude. I'm His not hair repeating is brown. It. What color is the bus driver's hair? It's brown. I gave you the information, Jordan. Okay, repeat <laughs> it. I'm not the bus repeating driver is it. actually wearing a hat. This was for Jordan, Bobby. I know. He's wearing a hat. <laughs> Those the question was for Jordan. Yeah, if I'm picking them up. Yeah, now you get it because everybody else. Has no, to because I wanted you to repeat the question because I didn't hear the first part. That's something about a bus driver. That was the, the point. I was throwing you off with the rest of the questions. You, you didn't throw me off. I nailed it. <laughs> yeah, because of Bobby won't shut the fuck up. Shit. I I already knew it. That's, how you, on that's not how you get somebody with a riddle. You get somebody with a riddle like this. No, I don't want your riddles. No, nope. stay away from me. Oh, come on. I've don't one up want my you riddle. to explain don't anything Don't one either. up my riddle, Josh. No. Don't one up his explanation. Josh is, Josh is a one upper. Green glass doors? No, oh, my God. I am not. I'll tell you about no. the green glass doors. Bobby's one Hey, Josh, what's your movie? movie? I've got my movie. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, it is a Western. Oh, God. Blazing Saddles. Nailed it. So first first clue I'm giving you is Civil War era. Civil War era. Mm-hmm. Was Dances with Wolves a Civil War movie? I don't remember. I think it's Civil War era. Dances but with it's War. not right. But it's not right. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So it is not that. So your second clue is... Bank robbery. Bank robbery. Yep. Is it Django Unchained? It is not Django Unchained. I haven't actually watched it, so it was a guess. That's a good movie. A bank robbery. Or should I say bank robberies? Bank robberies. Yep. Oh. Um. Was that Civil War? And I wasn't a Western either. Hmm.
The Highwayman? Nope. That was my second guess. What's the third clue? All right. Your third clue is Jesse James. Jesse James. Young Guns? Nope. Oh, that's a good movie. Young Guns 2 is better. Young Guns 2 is better. You are not a god. Why don't you pull the trigger and find Find out? out. (laughs) And then Bon Jovi comes on? Yeah. (laughs) Jesse James. I guess I might, I may not have ever seen this. And if this I is think Colin, you have. I'm pretty sure we all watched this as kids. If this is the Colin Farrell movie, then it's I've never seen that particular movie. Uh-oh. I just don't know the name of it. I'm gonna give it to you, bro. What you get? I'm giving you credit for it. You totally know what I'm referencing. I just don't know the name of it because I haven't seen it. But you know it. You referenced the lead actor in it. Okay, I just knew that he played Jesse James in a movie. Yeah, it's uh, it's called American Outlaws, and I'm pretty sure you've seen it, dude. Never seen it. Are you That's sure? That's one movie I haven't ever seen with Colin Farrell. Golly, you need to watch that. You'd love it. It's right up your alley. I liked Phone Booth. That was probably my favorite. You're getting Colin full Farrell credit movie. for that, though. You told me. I like Tombstone. Tombstone was good. Tombstone was you, awesome. mean, you didn't know the name of the movie, but you you knew the movie, so you get it. Is Tua playing? What? Tua was warming up. No way. I thought they played tomorrow. Chargers play today. Oh shit, my bad. Yeah, you're you're watching old film, aren't you? This is uh, well. I just I, I, I <laughs> you about ruined Daniel's evening. That's my bad. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> At the top right of the screen, it said Week 15. We I'm did like, that oh. earlier. We turned on a Chargers game or something. And yeah, like, Chargers in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. They were like, yeah. we didn't think this started yet. Yeah, and then I looked at the screen, and they were both one and one. I'm like, yeah, how are they like, both oh, one and on. one? What's up with that? My movie, Josh, is a – I think it's a drama. I actually didn't look up the – here, let me look it up. That way you get the right. San Diego's up 7-0, and they have the ball. And a huge gain. Let's go, San Diego Josh. or L.A.? Oh. Oh. Did I say San Diego again? Yeah. yeah. God damn who are you referencing? The Chargers. The Chargers. Oh, yeah, I should have been right. illegal hands to the face. Anyway. It is a drama. It's a drama. It is a drama. a drama. And my first clue is a blind man. <gasps> a blind man? A drama about a blind man? Hmm. What movies have I seen about blind people? <laughs> if you think about it, not many. Um, golly, no kidding. If you haven't seen this movie, then you need to really, uh, I guess, broaden your broaden your horizons on movies. Okay. Golly, what like what even movie have I seen about a blind person? Okay, come on, JD. Or Josh. It'll work too. No, that's not what I call myself. What if I just went on a whim and I started calling myself JW? I would love that. I'd call you JW if that's what uh, you wanted to go by. Oh, uh, would you? Yeah, that's it's cool. You'd probably call me Jay or Throck or something like that. Jay or Throck. Um, you'll always be Jordy Q to me. Judy Q. No, Judy it's Jordy Q to me. Because your mom always called you Judy Q. She did. And I, I thought it was cute and wanted to still use it, but didn't want you to hate me. Or maybe hate me more. Maybe that's what it was. Because you're a bully? That's yeah, funny. that's, I mean, I might. Take your damn movie. I don't know. I don't know any blind movies. Yes, you do. I can think of one right now, but it's not right. Daredevil. <laughs> no. Second clue. Private school. Private school? And he's blind. Is this X-Men? No, it is not X-Men. I mean, Cyclops technically couldn't see. So one more guess. Uh, Golly. It's not golly. Blind and say that again? A special school? No, private school. Private school. 
Jordan, do you know what it is? No, I can only think of one movie, and I don't think it's right. Uh, I don't know. Dead Poets Society. Good guess, but no. Third and final clue. An expelment hearing. Oh, man. Goodwill Hunting? No. Same oh, era, though. Dude. Who the hell was blind in Goodwill Hunting? <laughs> I'm, I'm beyond blind, dude. That's stop. I'm still no, thinking about blind I'm movies. <laughs> Wait, who does, he's not getting expelled? No. In that? He's oh, trying to get crap. pulled into college. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Crap. Well, that was a waste of a guess. Uh, well, who the fuck is blind? Like I don't know, <laughs> bro. The blind things. Oh no, I know this movie. Hang on. Um, it's it's uh, oh freaking if, Al Pacino. If, if. It's Al Pacino. Uh, few that. good men. Tom Cruise. What? No. Few good men. Uh, no, not a few. Good who the fuck is blind? Scent of a woman. Scent of a woman. Scent of a woman. Yeah. Al Pacino. Scent of a woman. Uh, yes, that is correct. That's it. <laughs> I can't believe you said a few good men. Oh, I couldn't remember the name of the movie. Uh, Al Pacino <laughs> wasn't in a few good men, though. Well, it's what came to my head when I thought of the movie, <laughs> and I was like, "No, that's not it." Send I think you named movie. every movie besides like anybody with a blind one besides X Men. <laughs> Book of Eli was the Daredevil. one I've seen that Daredevil. Well, I guess Book of Eli last time that was Daniel. Like, that was Daniel's. Uh, I would never movie, so I didn't. I didn't. I figured it obviously. That's the only thing that I I knew that had a blind character in it. Pitch Black. He's is he blind in the in Pitch Black? Scent of a woman. Book of Eli. That's a good movie. Oh yeah, Pitch Black. That would have worked. Or all the other. Although Pitch Black, he can see in the dark. Yeah, he could only see like with his sunglasses on, right? Uh, Well, he only sees at in the in the night. Like he can't see in the daytime. Well, hey, how about we uh, move on with our uh, our weekly draft? Yeah, yeah. This week's draft is not only brought to you by us chubby buddies, but it is going to be our top five defensive professional football players. Yeah. Yeah, top five defensive professional football NFL football players. So, Josh, okay. did you want to bring up your scroller? I certainly can. Give me just a second. While he's doing that, folks, go ahead and like, unsubscribe, resubscribe, turn that bell notification on. The Chargers are up seven to zero. They're kicking a field goal, and he also thought uh, Tua was warming up. Yeah, <laughs> that was funny. That's me. Who was well, we won't talk about it. Load up. Yeah. Well, maybe. But I do want listeners to realize that if you notice by this this episode that drops, you're going to notice some changes to the YouTube channel. It is actually going to be called the Chubby Buddy Studio instead of the Recess Rocket Studio. So the art's going to be different. Yeah, what he said. The kicker, the kicker. It's what? ten to zero. Ten to zero Chargers. Yes. Let's go. I, oh. I called. I it's called. what you want. You want the Chargers to play the Chiefs and Chiefs to be able to whoop up on It'll the be a better game. The Dolphins I think. to play the Chiefs. Because the Chargers the gave the Chiefs a run for their money. But you that's don't want why the Dolphins I don't want to it. get knocked out of the playoffs that early. What? I want the Dolphins to make a run. If we beat the Bills. We play the, the, Dol- we play the Chiefs, Chiefs next. Yeah. Ooh, AFC. Ch- oh, no. It wouldn't be the AFC. Ch- no. It'd be the, next, be? the next round. Yeah, yeah I mean, next Tyreek Hill is going for, for for three four hundred that game. Uh, the revenge game. Pick me right here. Three or four hundred. Yeah, Tyreek Hill's coming for you. Who throwing it to him? Huh? Skylar Thompson. He's just gonna uh, give him like he's just gonna give him like a two yard dump off, and Tyreek's doing the job. You know? Oh, uh, is he? Oh, uh, okay. you didn't know. That's uh-uh. how the Dolphins work. We give the ball to the fast guys, and we hope they do so. Oh. We don't win. Our quarterback doesn't win the games, you know. Right. Is that why you guys are nine and eight? The playmakers win the game. We're <laughs> nine and eight because Tua has 15 concussions on the year. Well, you, then you just contradicted what you said. You said quarterbacks don't win your games. Yeah, yeah. But but Tua, Tua is more accurate at throwing the two-yard pass. Oh, so the quarterback right. does win your games? No, no, no. 
Tyreek no. wins this game after he gets the ball. But, but the quarterback would the throw him the ball. Yeah. And then those right. are passing yards. So, so yeah. the quarterback onto the does. quarterback's stats. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But those stats come from Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Right. But the quarterback threw him the ball. The, the quarterback just has to be accurate enough to get the ball there. Right. But he still has to get yeah, I'm not the arguing. ball there. Are you not? No. Oh, okay. I thought we were. It, it doesn't matter what happens. The Dolphins will beat the Chiefs if we get there, or the Chargers will beat the Chiefs if not. So, whatever. Oh, my bad. I didn't know um, you were ready, Josh. Cool. Yep. Ready when you guys are. All right. So, Jordan will go first. That way he can tell you when to stop. Are you sure? Mm hmm. I'm fine. Uh, he, said, he always do, said that. Stop. You you cheated. It was me. I and then I flipped the damn. The goodness. Nope. I'm I done. Press it when you tell me to. But there's right, a Jordan delay the between stop again. my screen and yours, so it ain't gonna stop exactly. Then when put you some more coal on the fire to get that to get the internet going. Tell me again, Jordan. Oh. Oh, or that. Oh yeah, or we can just do that. I was going when somebody <laughs> said something. Oh my gosh, dude. This game's so rigged. All right, Daniel, Bobby. Stop. Stop. See, look how long it there took you. you. Go. Jordan, I don't want to be no I'm literally waiting for you. You got back to back picks. This is this game so stupid. Dumb. Bob, you All really right. dumb. Daniel is first. Pick. Daniel is going to go number one pick. He's not my favorite player because he's going to be there for a while. So I'll take him later. We're going to go. With a screw you, Jordan, and pick Derek Thomas. It's messed up. Oh. I hate you. He should. I'm so you're mad fat, about that. Damn, bad. I'm so mad you about that bad. damn '90s you trivia that bad. I'm taking Derek Thomas number one. <laughs> you know, that's messed up. That's what's happening. Jordan, make sure to take Zach Thomas before uh, he can get. No, nah, he's not even in my team. That's, <laughs> well, that's not on my plate at all. My first pick. He's a Hall is, of Famer. No, Reggie not. White. Zach Thomas is not. He's currently that... on the. He's currently on the the top. Did you hear my first pick, fellas? Reggie, Reggie White. White. Reggie White. The Minister of Defense. Yeah, yeah. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. A great pick. It's not Derek Thomas, but it's a good pick. Jordan. I'm gonna take. As he looks at his phone. No, I don't have my phone. Oh, yeah, um, down. I'm thinking. I'm messing with my desk drawers. Um. Where his phone's inside of. No, kids have my phone. Oh. What what's with the third degree? Who gives a shit if I'm on my phone or not? Um <laughs> I'll take God damn it. I don't really want I, Ray Lewis. Ah, oh, you Ooh. jerk. That's a good one. I didn't really like him that much though. But he's Lawrence good. Taylor. That's who I was gonna go Lawrence with. Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor. And another one. Uh Golly. Mm. Uh, Two fingers. Linebacker for, or not linebacker, safety for the Bucks for years. Just laid the hammer on people. <laughs> I bet you I know the Come answer. Come on. To this. Uh, Help me out here. Not uh, the only name in my head is Mike Allstop, but that was their fullback. You said running back? No, no safety, well, safety for the Bucks. I know used who to he's lay the about. hammer down on people. Who I know? Who he, I, I know. I know exactly who he's talking so about. Say it, Bobby. Are you taking that's John my, Lynch? John Lynch, baby. John Lynch. The one you gave the answer to as a ah, number two. John Lynch. You don't think so? I think it's too high. Uh, no, I think it's too high too. All right, Jordan, you're next. Oh shit. Um. I will take defensive players. So I took the best linebacker. Don't no, at you me on didn't. That. Don't at me on that. Um, Who did you pick? Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. You think he's better than Lawrence Taylor? No. You no. think he's better than Derek Thomas? No, because Lawrence Taylor played all of his games on coke. <laughs> Pocket, it. it's a hell of a drug, dude. Uh, I will take... Uh, oh, I think he might be there later. I'll take Troy Polamalu. 
Ooh. Uh, see, Paul Malu would I was considering Paul Malu if not. He better than John Lynch. Troy oh, I disagree. Malibu. I disagree. That's a damn good pick. Ooh, they have wait. different styles, but I don't think he was better. Uh, I'm debating to wait, let this guy wait or move down, but I'm going to go with him. Warren Sapp. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Frank Warren Sapp. John, I'm, I'm going to go with my next pick being Sean Taylor. Ooh. And then the pick after that is going to be Deion Sanders. You dick. That was absolute Deion. Uh. All right. I'm going to go Rod Woodson. Okay. Let's see. I got linebacker. I got safety. D line. I'm going to go Michael Strahan. Ooh, that's not the gap. Golly. Um, I know, right? I was hoping this next guy would not be taken. And I'm gonna go. Up. I'm gonna go more modern. Um, but I'm gonna go just because I I think he's played well enough to to say it. Aaron Donald. Oh, that's a good pick. Uh, and the next one? best defensive lineman of all time. Uh, like I think he's high enough on there. I mean, I know he doesn't have a complete career to measure against everybody else, but that's his, easily his Super Bowl easily, winner kind of solidifies it. He's, yeah, he's pretty pretty much done with his career. He almost retired last year, so <laughs> that's a that's a good pick. I like it. Damn, problem is I don't have my four. That's the real problem. I'm I'm thinking positions, and I'm thinking. I mean, I'm considering. I'm considering Ed Reed. Well, that'd be a good safety pick. Now, I know who I want. Oh. Uh, Brian Urlacher. So I, I dead ass knew you were going to say that. He was going to be my dead last you. pick. Yeah. He was going to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. There's a pick on here, Jordan, that I kind of want to take just because of Mad. It's Jordan's pick. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, okay, I need another safety or corner. Uh, safety or corner. I'm going to take that, Ronnie Lott. God. Oh, man. He was my next pick. <laughs> I still can't say it because I still have the chance to take him. Think of Madden, Jordan. What position, yeah. though? Defense. I'm not telling you position. Uh, but the best player that we've ever used in Matt. The guy that I got you in our picks. I don't think so. Really? I don't think it, this player has came up in the Jordans game. Oh. Machine burst bench warmers. So I know who I'm going to pick stole mine. for my final pick. If he doesn't Ronnie Lott was my next pick. Mm. Dickhead. <laughs> Ronnie Lott's a good pick. That's old school. I'm going to go with Jared Allen. Ooh. Former Chiefs player, then a Vikings player. Mm. It's on Jordan. me, right? Jordan. Jordan? Oh, no, it's you. My bad. That was my bad. Yeah, you got two that. last picks are right now. You might as well take the one you're thinking I of. I, 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 I don't think I'm going to. I okay. think I need to. I think I need to go D line here, and I think I'm going to go with Eddie Too Tall, and I'm going to finish it off with Cameron Wake, my favorite all time <laughs> NFL player. Ugh. Most sacks on Tom Brady in NFL history for a D lineman. It's pretty goaded. Mm. <sighs> I'm trying to break it down to positions. I think I got to go corner next when Bobby's done. Some of the best corners ain't even taken. 
I, all oh, the best corners. Yeah, yeah. well, you took the number one. Here. Two more yeah. picks, is that right? No, one more pick. Yeah, you took yeah. Dion. So, yeah, who's number two though? Very easy. Oh, there's there's plenty of mm. picks there. I've got my I've got pick. one in my head that I think I, I think one I'm in my head. take him. What team, Jordan? I don't want to say it because Bobby's up. I'm, I'm gonna send. I uh, can't send you a message. I don't yeah. want to give you any ideas. I, I think I marked out mine that I had my first one. I had Reggie White, Rod Woodson, Jared Allen. Who's before that? I don't remember who else I picked because I accidentally marked it out because I thought I was doing Ronnie Lott. I'll Who'd go back and say? look. I said Reggie White, Rod Woodson. Who was my third pick? I don't remember because I accidentally marked it out because I thought I was scribbling out Ronnie Lott. I you said Jared that. Allen. Yeah, Jared Allen was my last one, but I should have one more. That's only three. Oh, I said uh, Warren Sapp. My bad. Yeah, you oh, said yeah, Warren yeah. Sapp. Yes, yeah, Daniel. Discord. Yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, I thought so. Right. Yeah. Defense. Oh, my guy. I. Who took your guy? I had Ronnie Lott. He took it. Oh, yeah, it was mine, too. <sighs> trying to think of anybody else that's uh, – So many. Just so out. Many I know, and that's the hard out. thing. I'm voting on, like, who who would I have wanted on my team or who who made an impact on me watching football? That's why, that's why I took Cameron awake. I knew that I could take him five and nobody was going to take him. But yeah. he's my favorite player of all time. Well, Derek Thomas was mine, dickhead. I know. Well, you should have beat me in the 90s trivia. So, Bobby, who's your pick? I'm going to go with Jack Lambert. Okay. Hey, never watched him. Neither did I. I just saw his highlights. He was a mad, mean mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. It's my pick, right? Yep. I think so. I'm going to go Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis. Revis Island. Daniel, your last pick, or Josh, your last pick. My last pick. I see. I don't know if I agree with what you say. Darrell Revis is easily the number two. Oh, who's I'm number gonna two? Nominate then? this guy as oh. possible number two. We're watching his boy play right now, but I think the OG was a monster Patrick defender. Sertain. Patrick Sertain. If it's not the real Revis, it's Give Champ me Patrick Bailey. Just you quit. Champ Bailey over Patrick Sertain? Yes. I mean, the two together were freaking phenomenal. Do you guys oh. remember Jason Seahorn? Mm-mm. I know that name. The Vaguely. Giants? Remember watching Vaguely, yeah. He's a white dude? Yeah. You know who, who I'm very disappointed is not on this list? Mean Joe Green? Oh, I didn't think about him. But no, um, uh, Cam Chancellor from the Seahawks, Legion of Boom. We didn't name anybody from like the Steelers Curtain of Doom or I just did. Or the Iron Curtain or Jack anything. Lambert. Oh, yeah, I guess Jack Lambert. But the Steel Curtain. Yeah, uh, Steel Curtain. I think next week. <laughs> I don't want to speak out of turn here, but I think next week we go offense. But you have to break it down like like fantasy football. Oh, I like. So it. you have to have a quarterback. You have to have a running back. You have to have an O lineman, a tight end, and a receiver. And a a receiver. Love yeah. it. Let's do it. Can a receiver also be a flex or something? No. Yeah, like a receiver, like a slot receiver. Wide, yeah. But yeah, you have quarterback, running back, O lineman, a tight end, and a receiver. I'm gonna be Love mad it. if I don't go first. I just Love want to it. <laughs> If I don't go first, I'm do y'all be- want yeah. another way to pick? Because y'all are going to be dramatic about this every time. <laughs> I'm dramatic if weird. I don't get the first pick. Like, you claim it. that it's I say we go time. off of like it's not from after this next one, right? So from after this next one, the order of the draft should go like just how the NFL draft does it. Whoever gets their picks like on the the Facebook thing, because I don't put names on it, and we can't vote for our own anymore. It's true. Whoever gets the highest pick will get last pick. I know we don't vote at all. I'm sick and tired of everybody. Fucking Nobody. Ever, me. No, we got to get it. Shut we got to get it going. We got to get it going. Does that make sense? So whoever yeah. has the highest pick will then vote pick last. So I want the shittiest pick this week. Who's like, don't vote for that? me. Don't don't vote it's for on me. the Facebook thing. It's they're not, they're they're not going to, Bobby or Jordan, because what you don't have. Terrible. You don't have Sean Taylor. You don't have Your picks Derek Thomas. Terrible. I love that Zach Thomas didn't get picked. That's funny. 
It's yeah, BJ's not even player, not mine. Not even like top tier for me. It's Ouch. like I said, that's BJ's favorite player, not mine. Mine is Cameron Wake. That is my favorite Dolphin. That's my favorite NFL player. Well, of course, you're like twelve, so he plays the same. I think position. Reggie White could just take the cake just with our pick. Reggie White's a White. solid, solid pick. And Warren Sapp. Uh, I mean, you and got Rob Sean, Woodson, Sean Taylor, Prime Time, Deion Sanders. Deion, the only thing the about it's hard to pass up. The only thing about Sean Taylor, he didn't play that long. Derek uh, Thomas. Yeah, how do you how do you claim Sean Taylor when the dude only played three years? He's a goat. Mm. Mm. I mean, he was good in college. But he he was just a goat. didn't. Yeah, he just didn't. Ed Reed. I mean, Ed, Ed Reed. Reed is on there. Ed Reed. Reed. Honorable mention, because I almost took him. I mean, I think Ed Reed's probably top. Tommy Lott was probably Safety. one that. That's you one think I should have took. See, I loved the – maybe it's personal preference, but I I think a safety that comes down and lays the hammer on a dude is what you want in a safety. Jordan, you know what that – Ed Reed was, was a ball about? hawk safety. Although he yeah, just two safe. different styles, but – yeah, yeah. He was more of a coverage guy. Michael Irvin yeah. said he was only afraid of one person on the field, and that was Ronnie Lott. He said that was the only guy that he ever made sure where the hell he was before he actually went, <laughs> went down. The mm. I when you, when you cut off a finger, ever, yeah, when you cut off a finger to play in the Super Bowl, that's like wild. at halftime, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know if it was a Super Bowl or not, but even still, like, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll sit out this week. I'd be like, mm. Yeah, I need a band aid. <laughs> I need this finger plus my look like BJ is like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can count to nine and a half. Jordan, can you think of the player that I was thinking about? For what, what position? The, the best safety, best Madden player we've ever played with. Since me safety? And you playing mutt. Yeah. Pat Tillman? Yep. Yeah. I almost took Pat Tillman. Yeah, I think Again. if you played Madden, it was a given, but. Again, that's another situation where it didn't play long enough to really justify but his conversation. Fucking respect is higher than most any oh, NFL Of course, players. man. Of course. Chargers have scored like again. Champion. Fuck the Chargers. Damn. Fuck Justin Herbert. Well, well, what else we got, now. guys? Oh, we're just chilling out, man. But unless like, you guys like, are ready to like go, we'll call, it a, we'll call it an episode. I just didn't know if we had any other bits or any other fun. No, that was the last one. That, uh, the draft is always the last thing because we I never like really it. know how long it goes. But it's true. We've been pretty good in the past few weeks, but this week we went a few minutes over. But there's no time limit. It's just we stop talking when we're done talking. That's why if there's a Chiefs Cowboys Super Bowl, this has to be like a literally from pregame to. <laughs> Good if lord! What if it's dolphins and and cowboys? No, Fucking I ain't teeth. watching. I won't. No. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. Wow. But Jordan could actually come over here and chill out in the studio. Jordan. Could? Yeah. If the Chiefs go to the Super Bowl, I'm watching it in Hudge. We're at though. Yeah. No. And Probably the in laws' house because when I watched it over there, we won. Oh. But I mean, yeah. And then the like, year we lost to the Buccaneers, I was sitting here at home by myself. So, Ooh, okay. That's your own fault. We stunk it up. Well, I say whatever little stuff. But we ain't got to worry about that because if wow, we beat the Bills, the teams are done for. Don't worry. Mm, uh, I don't know about that. Tyreek Hill said so. Somebody's that, still living in fantasy world. That's a big if, too. Your delusions are overtaking your your common sense. All right, well, I don't remember my <laughs> Super Bowl pick, but I'm pretty sure it's Dolphins. You said Cowboys. Dolphins, but. And Cowboys. Yeah. That's who you said. See, that's how I know he's unrealistic. Yeah. Neither one of those teams is going to I should say, both ball. of those teams lose round week one. You're, you're it's done. Be hilarious. <laughs> At least, well, I mean, our Chiefs pick, I got I that first Bills, round by. I picked Bills Cowboys in the Super Bowl. I mean, Ugh. but I also have no, I, my heart won't be broken if the Cowboys lose first round. I, I, know I can guarantee that my Super Bowl prediction will still be alive next week. Yep. You can't guarantee that. You I picked can. the Bills. I didn't pick the Bills. You picked I the picked Chiefs. The Chiefs. Oh, your Super Bowl Eagles. prediction, not your bracket. I get it. No, my Super Bowl prediction. Yeah, you're gonna. Be, you're you're 100 guaranteed. Everybody in this chat room, makes guaranteed it, you that the it's still good next week. <laughs> Anybody who picked the Bills is failing at life. I mean, you say for that. Everybody but in America, except for people who live in Miami. 
all of America yeah. thinks that Miami the is not. They, they really win. can't think that because we barely lost to them the second time. And we did you have two the first time? No, we didn't have two at either game. We didn't have two at either game, and we beat them the first time and almost beat them the second time. You had two with Skyler Thompson. No, he didn't. He got hurt in the. That's the game that he had the fucking knockout. Condition. Oh, where he got knocked out um, Thursday night football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't have two in either game, and we beat him the first time. Yeah, almost beat him the second time. I thought you guys had two of that first game you guys played. Yeah, the first one was where he got hurt. That's yeah, where he was like hurt. super hot. Yeah, and he got knocked out in the first half. And the second game, we like ran all over their ass. And almost beat him with that run game. In, in almost Buffalo. only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. It, it counts in a lot more than that. Oh, cornhole. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey guys, we can wrap this up and then we'll chat a little bit longer in the in the waiting room. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.